What's up guys, Reverend421 here, welcome to another Blender tutorial, and this time I'll be showing you how to make your very own Universal Studios intro for your videos. Now you probably remember the Universal Studios uh, intro, it is the spinning globe with the name popping out, and so I'm going to show you how to make that today. Alright, so what you're going to do first is go into the sidebar and download the Blender application, and that is what we'll be using to make it. And you'll also want to download the Universal Intro Custom file, which will have the sound and the Universal Original um, Blender file. Alright, so what, what you want to do first is open up the file, and then click Universal Original. And then Blender should pop up. Alright, so we're going to want to come down here to View, and then click Front. And then just to scroll in, just kind of use the little scroll button on your mouse. All right. So it says your theater. You're probably gonna want to rename that. So we will click the tab button, which will then unhighlight it, and then you can just click backspace to delete it. And then you can just type in whatever you want. I'm gonna type in my name, Robert Four Two One. All right. Now when you're done. Just click the tab button again, and then you're going to want to come down to Feature Presentation. Now you want to click Command, and then click it. As you can see, it will highlight the globe, the, or the sphere thing, and then all you want to do is click Command, and then try to click on one of the letters again, and then it will go on this thing, and then one more time, Command, click on the P. Alright, there you go. So now it says feature presentation. You can change it to whatever you want. I'm going to change it to uh, feature tutorial. Alright, when you're done, click tab. And now all I'll do to move it up is just click on it. Whoops. Just click on it, kind of drag it around. And there you go. Now you can move it up. Place it wherever you want. I think it looks good right there. Alright. Now, down here, it will say right here, scene, F10, I'm going to click that, and then you want to come over here to where it says output, click on this file here. Now this is where the renders will be saved to, so uh, you can either pick to do it on your desktop, your downloads, anywhere you want to, but when you download the file, it will have a folder in that file called renders. And that's where I'm going to want to save it. So it says right here, Universal Intro, Custom, Renders. So that's where it's going to save it to. What am I going to do? Select Output Pictures. All right, so now it has it saved down here. And to get it the best possible size, click Full. And then scroll this thing down to 720. We'll just go. All right. Now you're going to want to come down here and click on... AVI JPEG. Now before I tell you, this thing will take a very long time to um, render, but for sometimes it may not take that long. It may take just a little bit of time. I don't know why. The 20th Century Fox one, that takes a very long time to render, but sometimes this one just doesn't take as long. Alright, so to render it, you just want to click the Animate button. And as you can see, it's kind of moving fast here. It's already on frame 2 out of 500. So you can just wait for this thing to finish. And then you'll have your very own custom Universal Studios intro. Alright guys. To check out the final uh, rendering of the thing. I will have a little annotation in the video or a link in the sidebar to go check out the video that I made. Please comment, rate, and subscribe, guys. Giveaway coming very soon, and I will uh, see you later. Adios.